Hello everyone, it's Eddie the Chump coming back with an actual commentary. Holy shit, the fucking stars have aligned, the moon is in the fourth house of Endor or whatever the fuck it needs to be for me to be motivated to make a video, but um, some of my subscribers have been asking for my reaction to the new consoles and all the issues that that throws up and obviously you're not watching Black Ops 2, this is Black Ops 1. It's just a quick TDM that I got uh, last night with some friends using... Um, the SA-80 or Enfield as it's called in this game because I'm English in it so I'm using the English assault rifle not really I mean I just used it because I never use it you know you've got to vary it up haven't you you can't use the FAMAS every time um, right okay so Xbox One um, there's a reason why I held off talking about this because I, I, I'm one of those people I don't like to be a hater right I don't like to be someone who you know who doesn't have anything positive to say and then still like voices their hate or displeasure at something I think it's kind of that's a cheap way to get attention but I will say this I mean my opinions of the Xbox One are, are not really that positive and there's a number of reasons for that uh, first off I'm going to point out that I'm not in fact a communist I'm not in fact someone who is anti-industry or anti-profit motive for, for people who want to make expensive hardware and games and and certainly I'm not anti-developers having tools that they can use to make the best games. I think, you know, really as a gamer I have to be a fan of the people who make the games uh, more more often. Th I would be a fanboy of developers more than I would ever be a fanboy of consoles. But um, the Xbox reveal for me, you know, was quite. It, ha it had quite a few worrying things in it. I think that there's... Let's, let's start with um, the Kinect. I don't want Kinect. It's as simple as that. I never have, I never will want a Kinect. Um, motion controls to me as, uh, you know, one of my favourite commentators, Brumac, said is a gimmick. And it's true. And I don't really want gimmicks. Do you know what I actually want more than anything else in the entire world? I play a lot of shooters and I want a shooter that when I press fire and I'm on someone, they die. That's all I want. I don't, I don't want anything more complicated than that. That's it. And I think that the Kinect is kind of the way that Microsoft are positioning themselves in the market is is wrong. I I I don't I don't appreciate having a camera and a microphone that's going to be constantly connected and it's going to be constantly connected to the internet. Now they've said that you know that it's a rumor that um, you'll have to be connected all times to play the console. I don't think that'll be true. I I I can't see them doing that. I think that's a huge mistake. But I know that if you have the Connect connected to your Xbox, it'll always be on, and that's not something that I necessarily want in my house. Um, I won't use it as a device. I won't, you know, voice commands and things like that that have been announced in in COD Ghost. I'm really not that into. I don't. I don't really care. I'm going to try and keep an openish mind. But um, the fact is, is that I'm not going to get an Xbox One, and it's the the connect and then making you buy it is one of those reasons and another reason is that i don't like the kind of hyper profit motive approach to um gaming that seems to be really really prevalent now as as i said i'm not a communist i'm not anti industry i'm not anti people making money but i am against things like you paying a fee f to borrow a game or pre-owned games. I am I'm against that. I think that basically the way I've played games, what I'm now 30, I've played games for 20 years, you know, and you know when I was a kid we didn't, ha you know, and the SNES was out. We did, me and my friends we didn't have the money to buy all the new titles, but one of us would buy it and and it would go round in the circle where everyone would play a game to death and then swap it with their friends for a game they hadn't played and stuff like that. And that's still true today with a lot of kids. And I think that when you start trying to monetize those people, when you start trying to do that, you you change a culture that has been around for 20 years because obviously you want to make more money. Now, although, like I said, I'm not anti-industry, but I think that's I think that's too much. I think that's I think that's too much to ask people who who buy COD and buy season passes and buy all those things. I think that's too much to ask them. Um, I I. I'm just I'm quite anti that actually. There's no other way of putting it. I'm quite anti that. I'm quite anti that kind of um, attitude. I don't want to encourage Microsoft to to take this kind of like 
really hard profit line in the future. So I'm going to vote with my wallet and I'm not going to get an Xbox One. To me, it doesn't really make that much difference. Um, you know, if the PS4 is different, then then I'll probably get a PS4. But in in reality, I don't want to have to pour all this money into consoles for hardware that a PC could do two years ago. You know, it's as simple as that. It seems it seems madness. And another thing I'm not really that happy about is that Microsoft, in an attempt to try and take take a, a firm grip on the accessories market, are going to change the way that chat works with their new pads so that all the old headsets... I've got a pair of 2012 Astro A40s. They cost me 200 quid. And that I'm not going to be able to chat on the Xbox One with that. I'm going to have to get a new set of headsets and they announced today, uh, like a couple of days ago that they're working with Turtle Beach for the new headsets for the Xbox One. I don't want to have to buy a new headset. I've got a £200 mix amp and headset combo that is just about the best thing you can ever listen to. Why would I want to have to buy a new headset? When with the PS4 and PC, you just plug it in via USB. There's no need to do that kind of thing. I think that's why I'm just a little bit put out of put out of joint by Microsoft. I think they've made a couple of financial decisions that are that are really that are really quite aggressive and that I don't like. So that's my reaction to it. I mean it's not that I'm sure that the games would be pretty good. Um but as far as the console and the people who make it, I'm I'm not a big fan, I've got to be honest. Um well that was my first commentary in a while. Uh you know, subscribe and go to my channel if you haven't and follow me. Da 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 da, -da that would be great. So yeah, I'll see you next time.